Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. I want to first say thank you all for all the support that you have given me all these months on this channel. I would not have a channel without y'all, and for that, I'm forever grateful. Thank you so much. Okay, have you heard they are now talking about a little $600 stimulus check? We'll talk a little more about that in a minute. But if you heard about it, please go ahead and leave your comments. What do you feel about this little down payment of a stimulus check? Y'all, if you thought stuff was crazy before, hold your seats. They're about to get real crazy. Okay, coming this Friday, Congress will be on vacation for the rest of the year. So if they don't get anything passed now, then they will not get anything passed until after the first of the year. Both Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell wants to vote on the stimulus bill and the uh, government funding package before Congress goes out on vacation yet again. You must, those, those poor babies, they must really work hard to have to take so many vacations. We should feel sorry for them, shouldn't we? Some senators think that they can't get this much done, this much work done in such a little amount of time. I, too, feel this way. I just don't see these kids getting anything done. Maybe if they do get it done, we should give them some cookies and milk when they're done before they go out on their little vacation. Congress will be voting today on the government funding for one more week just to push it down the road to give them a little more time because they're so overly worked. The Republicans, Democrats, and Independents are saying that the stimulus uh, package should have a stimulus check in it for the people. Well, duh, I think we all know that. Mitch McConnell said that the Republican Party if the Republican Party and President Trump's administration wants a stimulus check, he will not stand in their way. Thank you so much, Mitch. Maybe you won't stand in their way, but y'all figure out a way not to make it happen. The votes in Georgia has now been certified again. And after being counted three times now, Trump still loses that state. I think it's time to put this fight to rest. President Trump did not win Georgia. Let's move on. The United Kingdom is now giving out their COVID vaccine to their people. The first person to take the vaccine was a 90-year-old woman. In the United States, the approval for the COVID vaccine can be expected as early as this Friday. Let's just hope so and hope our government does the right thing by making sure states get the funding they need to get this vaccine to the people that needs it most. But you know how our government screws everything up, so they may not. I got a feeling we'll have a lot of wasted vaccine because they just don't have the money to get it out to people. President Trump is signing an executive order to make sure all Americans gets the vaccine that wants it before we start helping other countries around the world. This is a good thing, but again, can he sign an executive order? 
He has said so many times that he would sign an executive order and come to find out he can't. Now on to the stimulus checks. It would look good that we're getting a stimulus check. And it does look good. I'll take a stimulus check of any size. That don't mean I have to be happy with it. Y'all, you may want to hear this before you start celebrating. It's not that great. This stimulus check is for only $600. What do you think about that amount? $600 for the past six months. All we get is $600. What can you do with $600? That's a month's supply of groceries, and that's about it. I personally think it's something, something is better than nothing. And this is just, to me, it's like throwing a dog a bone. Well, I'm, I'm not a dog. I don't like this little $600 pacifier at all. Steve Mnuchin, President Trump, Mitch McConnell, the White House staff are all looking like they're on board with this little $600 proposal. Now we have to wait and see what Nancy Pelosi thinks about it. As of the time of this recording, we have not heard anything from Nancy Pelosi. She's the one we're waiting on. She's the one that we hope will do the right thing. But so far, so far, we don't know who will be getting the $600 stimulus check. It looks like everyone that got it before will be getting it this time as well, if it's passed. Don't hold your breath on that. It also looks like dependents will be getting $600 as well. But still, we have not seen the official text on this proposal yet. I think $600 is good. I will take it. I will take anything they give us at this point. If we don't take this, most likely we'll, we will not get anything. But if we do take this and it's passed, as soon as it's passed, as soon as we get it, as soon as we get the slap in the face, don't turn your cheek and wait for the other slap. Start demanding they go to work on the next stimulus package right away. Joe Biden has said a real stimulus check will be coming right after he takes office. Let's just hope that he can get this done. But really, I ha don't have a lot of faith in our government at all. Unemployment, this is where it gets crazy. This is, this is awful. It looks like real unemployment will be going away. They will still be getting their regular unemployment, but the, unemplo plo the unemployment boost of $300 per week will be going away. And they will replace it with this one-time $600 stimulus check. Why would they want to give up $300 for every week for a one-time payment of $600? They're giving up $1,200 a month for one payment of $600? That will simply not fly. And I really don't think Nancy Pelosi will be on board with this. If she does... God help us all. 
I don't see her going on board with this. And she's the one that can hold it up right now. Let's hope she does the right thing. Y'all, tell me in your comments what you think. Do you think Nancy Pelosi will be on board with this? As of the time of recording this, we hadn't heard from Nancy Pelosi. Anything could still happen. Let's just hope Nancy Pelosi does the right thing for the American people. Y'all, it's getting crazier and crazier every day. I don't think we've seen the the pinnacle of it yet. I think it's going to get a lot crazier before it gets better. Y'all, the only thing we can do to combat this is say a prayer for, to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that he will bring us out of this crud that we're in and that he will soften the hearts of our lawmakers and Congress. Y'all, we will get out of this. I have faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Y'all, please watch the video that's popping up here now. It's mine and my wife's late night show. We just have a lot of fun there. We don't talk stimulus. We don't talk politics. Investments are nothing. We just have a lot of stupid fun. Y'all, please check it out if you had not never seen it. I think you'll like it. There's a lot of people that really enjoys it every night. They come back at 9 p.m. for that. And if you don't like it, then you don't have to come back. But please, check it out one time. And just know I love you all. i got another video coming out today at 12. Please check it out. And just know I love you all. Until then, ciao.